What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be taking my Equinox 600 back to a couple locations and we're going to be really dialing in on silver. I'm starting to learn this machine pretty well guys. I'm going to be showing you a couple live digs and a couple cool finds. I meet a pretty cool guy in this video, Tegan. He actually came down to the park whenever I was down there and he wanted to know more about metal detecting. I think I gave him a pretty good reason why to start. So you guys, I'm not gonna keep rambling on. Let's get straight into this video. I'll catch you guys on the first hole. Alrighty guys, I got my first good signal here. 16, 17, 18, and it pinpoints kinda small. All right guys, this one was just a pull tab. My first find, but that's fine. I'll take that because I'll be finding gold here soon. All right, here's a different signal here. 16, 17. I'm not seeing an 18 on the VDI, so I don't think it's gonna be the same pull tab as last time, but it still has a chance to be a different pull tab. And it pinpoints kinda, kinda like a pull tab, honestly. Well, there, that's a smaller pinpoint. We'll check it out. I guess I'm pretty sure I was right here. It's another crap, another pull tab. But if you've seen, the first pull tab showed up a couple 18s while I was going across it. This one was only about, what, 16 and 17? And this is kind of like your bottle, you know, like your Pepsi can or your Coke can pull tab. So, I'm going to see if, maybe if I see another 18 pop up on a good signal, I'm wondering if it's going to be like that um, bigger pull tab, kind of like your beaver tail or whatever. So, that'll be interesting to know. Alright, so like I said, check this out. 18, 19. I wonder if this is going to be like a beaver tail pull tab. Let's check it out. That target was just a very badly chewed up penny. Like, I mean, super bad. Like, this penny is absolutely trashed. All right, guys, so I finally found a pretty cool little find here. And I just dropped it. All right, here we go. It's actually cleaning up pretty nicely. Got myself a pretty cool little wheat scent. Dad found one, 1916. Well, guess what? I found one, 1911. So pretty cool. I'm gonna have Matt do the honors here of spraying this coin off, but check this out. Sorry about the plug. It was uh, it was definitely moving on me, but there's a lot of iron through here and I already lost it. Oh, right there it is. Check this out, guys. A screaming signal with the Equinox. Matt, go ahead. Let's go flip it over here. Oh. That's uh, beautiful. What's that date? 1924, I think. I'm, nice. I'm just looking at it through the camera. <laughs> but wow, dude, nice. That's my second silver, I yeah. think, of the year. And then we're not gonna say that Dad's already been through the area. Yeah, I was about to say, Dad. Uh, I think Dad missed this one with the old legend. So <laughs> Equinox sniffed it right out. That's awesome. All right, guys. So I'm actually on another coin here. Um, it's going to be a dime, I think, but I don't think it's going to be silver. It went ahead and fell out of the plug. I'll go ahead and pick it up here. Uh, yeah. This one is just going to be a regular dime. 1984, I think it says. But amongst all the trash here, I'll take it. I think I'm going to find another silver here soon. All right guys, so here's something kind of cool. I think this is either part of a clock or a pocket watch. Not sure which one yet, but still a pretty neat little find. It was about six, seven inches down in the ground. All right guys, so still swinging the Equinox here and uh, I found possibly one of my deepest coins ever. I want you guys to see how deep this is. This Garrett carrots about nine inches and it's flat right with that surface guys so this is awesome look at this look how and we're thinking it's an Indian but I wouldn't be surprised good drop and it wants to stay in a hole that's right 
I wouldn't be surprised if it's a wheat scent. Hopefully, though, it's an Indian. Come on. Bad thing about it in a field like this, a lot of times they get so cruddy. Sometimes you never ever get to make them out. 100% coin. <laughs> That's a good observation, Dad. You might have to get it home. Well, I see Abe's bust. No! Right there, see his bust. Right there's his head, there's his body. Oh, I see it in the camera, yeah. Dad gum it! What's the date? 1944. Darn it! So still, a pretty awesome find it that deep. Yeah. Hey, if it was... Uh, there, it's coming up pretty clean now. If it was silver, or if it was a dime, it would have been silver, you bud. You can see the one cent on the back now real good. Oh, yeah. Dang it! It's drying out nicely now. Look there. Uh, oh, well, can't complain about that. All right, guys. Here is a pretty decent signal here. Bad signal. Whenever I lift it, I start to lose it, so that's good. Ten points, pretty small. Let's see what we got here. All right, guys. So whatever that signal was is going to actually be right in this clump somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe I'm not an idiot. Okay, hold on. I might be an idiot. Okay, turns out I'm just an idiot. And turns out it's just something. Like a nail, not too shabby. But it was a deep nail, is it a square nail? I can't even tell that. All right, whatever. Duly noted. All right guys, so I'm down here at the park. I just met my boy uh, Tegan right here and uh, he asked a solid question about how do you use a metal detector? And I was showing him and stuff. I was telling him pretty much what you can find and everything. And literally under this dude's feet pretty much was what appears to be a pretty cool ring. Uh, Dad, come on in, and Tegan actually helped me find this. He had the eagle eye, and let's check it out. I hope it's a ring, but... Oh, it's yeah. looking like a ring. Oh, oh heck oh. yeah. Look you at that. Are you on it? Yeah. Look at that, guys. That's probably actually silver, too. That looks what a little it coming bit up? gold. Yeah. Uh, what was it coming up on the knocks? Oh, that's yeah. silver. It was coming up a solid, and I even told Tegan, I was like, man, this is a solid 24. It wasn't changing from 24. And Tegan's like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I, that sounds like silver. <laughs> he didn't say that, but no, this is awesome. It says, uh, Alice, do you have a girlfriend named Alice? No. I was about to say, you could have that and give it to her, man. That'd be awesome. That'd... I don't even know anyone named Alice. Well, I'll tell you what, if you did, I'd give you this, because that's a pretty cool little, little ring. We'll clean it up, guys, and we'll kind of give you a close-up. But yeah, look at that. All right, guys, so I got my boy Tegan. I just met him five minutes ago. Cool guy, I done promoted him. He's on my camera right now, but we just have a, another rocking signal here right below my dude's feet again. I don't know if he's throwing things in the ground or what, but we're gonna live dig this. Let's see here. So 25, 26 on the Equinox and it ain't moving. We're gonna try to live dig this and see what we got. Just so you know guys watching, um, I did not put anything in the ground. <laughs> uh oh, I think I just heard it. Oh, pretty sure it's just gonna be a dime, dude. Oh well. See the Roosevelt right there? Yeah, that's just a regular dime. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. Oh wait, it just cleared up a little bit. There Flip it go. over. There you go, guys. That's what it is. Sweet, dude. Not bad, though. That was a screaming signal. All right, guys, getting dark here. Um, got Tegan on the film again. Hello. And we came across probably the best signal of the night. It might not be the best thing, but it's rocking a solid 29.30 and me and Tegan both heard it and we both was flipping out. We both decided we're gonna live dig it. So here we go. I'll let you guys. That's the numbers. The highest we've got right there is a 35. Come on. And our last dig, we found this and I'm going camping next week. So uh, this will be actually pretty useful. It's out, bro. It's freaking out. Come on. 
You got me in fr frame, Teague? Oh, I got it right here. It's a quarter. Oh. Grandparents. Oh, okay. Teagan, Teagan's grandparents up there waving at him. Check that out, though. We got ourselves a freaking quarter. Yeah. Not bad, man. Not too shabby at all. <laughs> Guys, me and my boy feeling a little cocky right now. We just found that ring. We just found a quarter. What another solid signal here. Me as cameraman again. Yep, Tegan is cameraman again. Showing off his amazing camera skills. Let's see what we got in the ground. Hoping we can get a lot of likes on this video. Oh, my man already shouting out the likes and everything. Okay. Tegan, you know the process, bud. I've watched YouTube. All right. That's not a good sign, Teague. Uh-oh, we got roots. We got freaking... Ah, oh, no. Guys, that right there is just raw emotion. It's safe to say Tegan does not like roots. However, Tegan does not know that we have the root slayer. That's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. But that is. Oh. That actually is. That's not the, see that glass right there? That's glass? Yep. Oh, be careful with that. Yep. Okay, how are we gonna extract this out of the hole, Teague? Uh, do you want to try to like dig like more to the side? I know that would kind of like Yeah, it's it's right underneath that root Wow You got this in frame Teague? Yeah Guys, you're seeing it here first. Uh, what is this? Mountain Dew looks like from maybe the early 1700s it's Pretty cool though. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I mean <laughs> at least it's old, right? 1700s, I guess that's pretty old, Tegan. Yeah.